Welcome to the GE Solution video series. In this episode, we'll describe how to use the Machine Edition Process Block Libraries. GE's Machine Edition Control Programming Software provides a process block library for use in PAC Systems Process Control applications as part of GE's PPS product. This library is now available for use at no additional cost for Machine Edition Professional Editions. It is provided in Machine Edition 8.6 and later installations and is available in the Machine Edition FBD Instructions tool chest drawer where process blocks are represented as user-defined function blocks or UDFBs. Machine Edition process blocks are user-defined function blocks and take away from the user logic memory and the controller block count. Therefore, they are not automatically added to normal controller projects. There are 49 process blocks available in version 9.0. There are two methods to add process blocks to a project. First, add all process blocks to a target. Or second, add process blocks individually to a target. To add all process blocks to a target's project, turn on the Process System Enable Target option, which will add them to the target's project. Turn this option off so that the PPS license and HMI are not required. Finally, delete any process blocks that are not used in your application. These blocks will be located in the Project Navigator. To add process blocks individually to a target, locate the process blocks in the Machine Edition tool chest. They are provided in the FBD Instructions drawer, not the PC FBD Instructions drawer. Control drag and drop a block to the Project Navigator, or Control drag and drop the block directly to the Logic Editors. Let's add and use the Moving Average Process Block in an RX3i controller application. This application is collecting temperature information from a process and displaying it in degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit. Let's add a call to the Moving Average, or MAVG, process block to calculate the moving average for the temperature sampled every 5 seconds. First locate the Moving Average Process Block in the tool chest. Look at the help available to describe the block's operation. Open the InfoView help by selecting the block in the tool chest and pressing F1. We see the key inputs for this function block, which are the PV, process variable, and the configuration parameters that define the number of samples, 0 to 20, and the execution period. The basic steps to add this block to the logic are as follows. Add moving average block to the logic. Provide enabling logic and configuration parameters. Download the updated application to the controller and observe the data activities. Control drag and drop the moving average block to the LD editor. Create the UDFB instance variable to hold the instance data for this block. Temp moving average. Wire up the logic. Assign temperature as the PV input. Assign moving average temperature variable to the OP output or the result. Set the temp moving average configuration parameters for 20 samples, 5 second intervals. Download the application to the controller. Watch the data. Compare the temperature to the moving average.
For more information, visit our public website at www.geautomation.com.